everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm gonna give you my last final thoughts on the mascaras that I already have used up lately and they are going to the empties bin. So yeah, these are the ones that I've been having on rotation and I have been keeping them to think if I want to repurchase them or not or whatever. So I I'm gonna I am gonna bring you guys with me and take and tell you all about my final thoughts on this mascaras and would whether would I repurchase them or not. So uh, let's just begin with this L'Oreal Telescopic uh, mascara. Mine was was I say was because it's already dried up and used up and whatever in black. And you have seen this many times. It has this like. It's four, yeah, it has this four rows of bristles, it's rubbery, and this uh, really lengthens, as it says, the telescopic, uh, your eyelashes, it doesn't add a, a ton of volume, so, but you could add, you could use a volumizing mascara and add this on top of it, so you have a super great length, and it is really, since the one that's really, it's really small, it's really good for applying on the lower lash line, so yeah, I really dug this a lot and as, <laughs> I don't know if you, no, you don't know this. Yeah, it looks like a telescope, okay, but we have to that. Anyway, uh, there's this thing about me that I think if a wand is good and you have another mascara that you're not digging so much, maybe you take a wand from the mascara, a mascara that you liked and you can make it work better somehow, you know, it's, maybe it's not going to be the same formulation, but sometimes you can really Frankenstein a product and create your own really uh, custom mascara. So there's this tip. So this one, would I repurchase it? Sure, but first I have tons of mascaras that I tend to buy, you know, because I'm junk and I always want to try. But yeah, I, I make a point to use up the ones that I have and I have some on rotation and when I am done with that, I rotate to another one just so you can make a little bit of, you can figure out where I am at. I just opened, I got like a year and a half ago, uh, Miss Manga from L'Oreal and I started using it today. So, you know, I had a lot of backup, so yeah. Moving on, uh, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I got this a while ago, and this is a really good mascara. It has this funky, you know, this fun shape uh, that I have been using it a lot uh, for the everyday use. It doesn't add dramatic or drama to your eyelashes or anything. I have to point out that I am not one who likes uh, I don't like clumpy eyelashes, this is for sure, but I don't like uh, supernatural eyelashes. I like uh, really full lashes, long lashes, black lashes, you know, lifted up and curled lashes. I, I, if I don't want to be wearing a mascara at all, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna, so. So, let's pick it up where I left it. Uh, the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel. I really like this mascara for the same reason than the telescopic and this is because it has a fine one so there's that and will I repurchase this? I would much rather get the telescopic one but I have to say the Lash Accelerator, Accelerator it's cheaper and while the brush it's not the same because it has this wider middle part it's really work. It really works as well. It's really it's really good for working with the lower lash line as well. So there's that plus. It claims that it has this uh, look, grow lash complex. I cannot um, say much about that because I didn't feel a difference. But they say that, so I don't know. <laughs> Next up, um, there's this peanut. It's a, uh, I don't know if it's just a Spanish brand or whatever, and it's this duo mascara. It has this white base and then this ultra volume carbon black. I guess it's just Spanish because, uh, yeah, it's made in Spain. And uh, it says it's, it helps with the growth, whatever. So this uh, white base is a really basic, wand and it has this white um, product that it really helps to 
prep the lashes is really good but then uh, I found this when I behold when I opened the the black part of the mascara first can you hear let's just be quiet oh it didn't make the noise but can you take a look at how thick and clumpy the product is that you know depending on how you use this look at this look at this mess this is this, you cannot go and go ahead and use this so I haven't been able to use this not even once because this is so freaking thick you know it it, it deforms the, the, the bristles and it's I think I have to say let's just put it this way it's the worst mascara ever <laughs> oh my god this is a pass next up there's uh, this uh, mini size from La Volume mascara from Chanel and I have to say all these mascaras are black mascaras I tend to use black mascara on a daily and it ha has this uh, short bristles rubbery bristles and they apply really good and it's a really solid mascara and I really have loving been loving this and the Dior show one and they are really good but they are really expensive so I will keep this in mind as well um, same way then th that I will keep in mind the telescopic but I will not repurchase it anytime soon because of the price and if I have to go high-end I have to say that my all-time favorite so far is the roller lash from uh, um, Benefit so there's that then there's this Rimmel Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil. I have to say I have uh, been using uh, the Rimmel lately. I got the Rimmel Wonderful Wake Me Up and I really love that. And this, don't get me wrong, has this rubbery bristles. It's a good size wand and it's a good solid mascara but it is not really, it's really lightweight and it is not uh, pitch black if you if you know what I'm trying to say so it's not really potent or real black you know there's this black and there's this jet black so this wouldn't be jet black this is just black and this is really natural you know if you just want to apply a little bit of something on your eyes and have this extra care with the argan oil I would say give it a try but other than that don't expect this to uh, apply being you know creating thicker lashes or longer lashes is just gonna you're just gonna work with what you naturally have and yeah apply a little bit of color and a little bit of uh setting uh, setting power or whatever and treat in them with the argan oil but yeah it's not gonna create any oomph that's what i was trying to root for and last but not least there's this false lash it's called uh, from L'Oreal. I already did one video reviewing this back when I got it and I told you guys that I would use this up till I finish because I paid good money for it. So this is me. So I, I used it up no matter what. And I have to say over time it got a little bit better but still this brush it's beautiful like I had issues at the beginning applying uh, the product with this and stabbing into my eyeballs and whatnot but in the end uh, you get used to it and you apply it in really tight lines at the same time that you apply the mascara and whatever but overall I have to say this uh, product uh, the actual mascara is really thick so it tends to clump really easy and sometimes if you you can apply like a couple of coats of this and you're good to go and if you go for a third coat of this you're gonna have some fallout so I had issues with the fallout and it got better with the time but still I would uh, try the butterfly the regular one I have to say this uh, didn't add didn't add length at all or whatever I still prefer the low roller lash from benefit and yeah of course this is drugstore and benefit is high-end but this is not a cheap drugstore mascara so yeah it's almost it's 15 uh, 15 euros in here so 
you chip in five euros more and you have way 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 more so what I why I am planning on doing with this since I is cleaning the the one because I love this a lot and this is finito this is gone this is doesn't deliver any more product so yeah it's all finished up but I am planning since I am currently rotating with the um, Miss Manga to use this one that I am liking more because it's stiff and the Miss Manga is you know flimsy and whatever and try to give it a go that way to see if that uh, Miss Manga formula which is more liquidy and whatever works with this and maybe I get to have this fluttery lashes that I like a lot and yeah there's that so these are the mascaras the mascaras that I currently pulled out of my collection because they are gone finito, they are over, <laughs> there's no more product they can deliver and these are my honest final opinions about them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, there's that, these are the mascaras that were in my rotation and now they are over you know, they're finished, they will deliver no more products, so they are going bye bye and onto the empty bin. And this was my final thoughts, the final review, uh, my final thoughts about them. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and drop a line. See you in the next one. Bye.